Do you have shaky video like this and have large data files you have to manage? Well, stick around. By the end of this video, we'll show you some hardware that you can use to clean up your stabilization and ways to manage your large data files with iPhone or other Apple devices. When we started looking at creating our videos, we realized pretty quick that we weren't going to be able to just use our iPhone, which well, our iPhone makes a very nice video, but without a gimbal or something to kind of stabilize it while you're in a Jeep, it showed pretty quick we need something with, something with stabilization. You know, we looked at the GoPros, we looked at the Osmo Action and several others, and all of them had their advantages and disadvantages. But uh, we had seen quite a bit of footage from the Osmo, and it seemed to be fairly good. And then we got looking at price, packages, attachments, and you're going to need the attachments no matter what you do. So one thing we found out real fast is with the Osmo Action, you know, it comes in this frame so that it'll so you can mount it fairly snug in there, which is what you want. But it's a pretty compact little unit, and as long as you have everything locked in, it's waterproof. Now for us, we may never put that to the test, but. But one thing we've seen real fast is that you're going to have to be able to mount this to something. So when we got looking at different kits, you know, we looked at just the camera. If we bought the camera, it was around $400. But then we started piecing out all the different attachments, whether it be for windows or if you want some kind of sticky mounts, little silly things like a little uh, tripod, selfie stick. Even the batteries, you know, all these things are, are add-ons that you have to buy extra. Now, if you buy them outside of just the, the camera itself, you know, at $10, $15, $20 per, it adds up pretty fast. So what we did is we got looking and we found this kit. And this kit basically has everything you see here, you know, including the case for it to come in. And some things I may never use, but you never know. You know, a head mount, chest mount, flotation handle. I would suggest extra batteries. You know, it's, it came with one battery and a charger. The last uh, ride we went on, we went to the S'more to More action run. We used all three batteries on that trip. If you watch the hood, you can see how well the Osmo stabilizes the video. Some of the other things we end up doing is realize the need fast for more than one camera. So for a while we had actually been using our selfie stick with a tripod and mounting our cell phones on it. And well, I didn't want to keep throwing out our, our iPhone out on the trail. And this little Vivitar we bought from Walmart, it was $50. There is zero stabilization. So if you're using it for anything other than stationary, it's it's almost totally worthless but it's got good 4k video so if you're going to stick it on a tripod or something and get some footages of you driving past or something like that it it's pretty good for that and it makes a good partner to the osmo now the batteries are not the same but so far so good it's not it's not rain down on us at all but one thing we did run into is transferring data. Now, I love my iPhone. Transferring files in a standard Windows format is pretty easy. Not so much on an iPhone. And that little data port that's in the phone, that thing is slow. So what we ended up doing was, after the trials and tribulations of trying to transfer the data through the port, you know, little devices that has a lightning port on one end and USB on the other, and trying to upload through a memory stick that just took forever so what we ended up doing is we ended up going into a little digital wireless drive 
Now what's nice with this is I can send it off the phone into this wireless drive via our, our Wi-Fi network and I can bring it back the same way. And it is much quicker than waiting for the upload and download through the lightning port. But we still use, when I want to store our data, it's a lightning adapter that has a USB in, and then it takes this USB connector that has the little mini disc port on it. Actually upload or download from our phone if we want to. We can also use it for the wireless as well. Both work very well. But that's that's been the biggest hurdle of the whole thing is transferring data on and off an iPhone. And I have to assume that iPads are the same way because there are no extra ports on an iPad. Unless you get into your bigger Mac systems, it all use the lightning cables. So if you want your video to go from this to this, the Osmo is a great tool for that. I'll leave everything in our description. Thank you for watching our video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. This has been Jeeping Mo.